Hi there, I'm Dr. Joanne Young. You were watching this video because we had previously discussed oral immunotherapy, or OIT, for your child's food allergy. Please note that this treatment is completely optional. And if you feel that it is a good fit for your family, you will be providing informed written consent. Oral immunotherapy is a daily treatment that very gradually exposes a child to their allergen and increases this exposure over time. This starts to train the immune system to not be so reactive to the food any longer. Ultimately, the goal is for your child to eat a small amount of that food without a reaction in the short term and potentially eat a full serving of the food in the long term. For example, after six months, a child may be able to eat two peanuts per day without a reaction. And after one, two, or even three years, that child may be able to eat 16 peanuts without a reaction. This protects a child from a reaction due to an accidental exposure in the real world. Studies show that OIT also improves quality of life for both the child and their parents. A small study in the U.S. showed that almost 80% of preschoolers on peanut OIT were able to tolerate a full serving of peanut after two and a half years. In Canada, my colleagues and I published a safety study that showed that 90% of preschoolers five years and under reached the maintenance stage successfully. Only 0.4% had a severe allergic reaction and 4% needed epinephrine. The risk of a severe anaphylactic reaction appears to be very dependent on the age of your child. In older children, for example, six to 10 years of age, the rate of severe allergic reactions and the frequency of mild but potentially bothersome allergic reactions are higher. If your child is school-aged, we will have to decide if the benefits outweigh the risks. Mild side effects are very common. For example, many children experience oral itch, mild rash, or mild stomach aches. These mild symptoms often improve and go away with continued treatment. Proper management of allergic reactions during OIT is very important. Although uncommon, these can occur at any time during treatment, including both doses given at the clinic and at home. Please refer to the allergic reactions flow sheet for guidance. If the symptoms are mild, such as itchiness of the mouth and throat, hives, puffy lips, or stomach ache, nothing needs to be done and the daily doses can continue and there is no need to call the clinic. However, if there are moderate to severe symptoms, such as widespread hives, coughing, wheeze, or difficulty breathing, vomiting, or looking unusually sleepy or dizzy, your child's epinephrine auto-injector needs to be given immediately. Your child should then be taken to the emergency room. Notify our office the next business day and we will discuss next steps. Please review the epinephrine auto-injector instruction video periodically. There is a small risk of eosinophilic esophagitis, or EOE, which is inflammation in the esophagus. It is unclear if OIT causes the EOE in these children or if they would have developed it on their own. Stopping the OIT sometimes made the EOE go away, but sometimes it continued. Let's talk about the protocol. Your child will have the first dose and all subsequent dose increases in the clinic. The appointments are every two weeks for about five months and last 30 to 60 minutes each. This phase is called the build-up phase. Once your child has tolerated a dose in the clinic under observation, they will repeat the same dose at home every day for two weeks. They will then return to the clinic and a slightly larger dose will be given. If that is tolerated, you will repeat the same dose every day at home for two weeks, and so forth. 
In select cases, we may consider doing the updosing appointments at home via virtual healthcare. For the first three months, your child's doses are so small and precise that they will be prepared by McDonald's pharmacy. The capsules, the pharmacy compounds, contains the powdered version of your child's allergen, and you will empty the capsule into applesauce or yogurt and mix the powder before feeding your child. Starting the third month of treatment, you will use the actual food product and measure the quantity on a kitchen scale. For example, you may need to measure 0.5 grams of peanut per day. By the end of the buildup phase, your child will be eating 300 milligrams of the allergen protein per day. This is roughly two small peanuts, one and a half cashews, or one walnut. Your child then enters the maintenance phase. During the maintenance phase, your child will eat the same dose of 300 milligrams of allergen protein per day, every day, and visits will only be once a year. Your child will have an allergy skin test and blood test before treatment starts, then about once per year thereafter to monitor their response to the treatment. What to do if your child is sick? Please refer to the Is Your Child Well Enough flow sheet. A regular cold or tummy upset does not require a change in treatment. However, if your child has a fever of greater than 38.5 degrees Celsius, is vomiting, or has an asthma flare-up, the dose should be skipped for that day. You may miss up to two days in a row and resume treatment on the third day without informing our office. However, if you miss three or more days in a row, give us a call and we will assess the situation. Let's talk about the cost. The visits to the clinic are covered by MSP. The capsules with the food allergen cost about $150 to $200 per food item. So if your child is being treated for two or three food allergens concurrently, this cost will be multiplied. Many extended health benefits will cover the cost of these capsules as a compound. If you are watching this video because you were curious about OIT, and now are serious about proceeding. Give our clinic a call and you will be placed on the wait list. If you are watching this video as part of the next group of patients starting, review the enrollment checklist to ensure that all components are completed and submitted to the office by the deadline. Thank you very much for watching.